Hello and welcome to the video. So today I'm here at a hotel in Istanbul and I'm staying at, you know, a relatively fancy hotel. I so it says online. Basically, I'm in the Grand Bazaar, no, Grand Bayan Hotel, room 501, and I'm paying about $100 a night. And so, let's do a quick review. Is it worth $100 a night? We'll find out. We're in the hotel room now. So it's a relatively big room. Check it out. Two beds. So it's actually, it's called the family room. You could fit in theory four people here. So consideration number one is if you were paying a hundred bucks for four people in this room, that, that's 25 ahead. That's a good deal. That's a good deal. But if it's just one person ahead, I don't know. So it's a huge room. It's really a huge room. You got a desk, you got coffee over there, mini fridge, all that stuff. You had coffee, tea, creamer, all that stuff. Four cups for four people. I've just been going, drinking a lot of coffee lately. And the coffee's, you know, it's, it's instant coffee, but it's pretty good. You got some stuff here to put your stuff. That's my sweatshirt. TV, haven't even turned it on. A bunch of luggage. Oh, and check this out. I'm wearing my new fake jeans that we got the other day. So haggling in the market. You know, in hindsight, I didn't even need or want jeans, but it was more so for the experience. They're okay. So we got these for like, I think 17 bucks. It is what it is. We got the jeans, so they're fine. But really, that's about it with the room here. So we got, it's pretty basic. It is big, but it's pretty basic. You got some slippers here too. Honestly, I should probably take these at some point. Let's do some bed tests. So the beds are actually, ooh, the beds are pretty comfortable, honestly. And they're pretty durable too. You know, you can really bounce around on them. And the pillows are good, nice soft pillows. The beds are a little creaky, so just, you know, keep that in mind. But the beds are good. That's your blanket there. It's not much of a blanket. I bet you they give you a different blanket in the winter time, because that's really not much. Towels, always fresh clean towels. Bed overall, I've had a great time sleeping there. And the beds, no problems. The bed, no problems with the bed. Like sometimes the mattress gets too hard. That's not the problem here. Good mattress, good pillows. Not great blanket, but that's the bed. Oh, check out, we got some chandeliers there. That is pretty cool. I do like the chandeliers. And you can turn the chandeliers either. Oh, don't have the key in. Oh, oh yeah, this is the Turkish lira, the money. Turkish lira. So the Turkish lira and 100 lira is about five bucks right now. It's like 550 because Turkey is going through some pretty crazy inflation right now. But see, you can turn on the chandelier, like half and half, whatever you want, half and half. I do like the chandelier. The chandelier is quite cool, quite, quite cool. And the trimmings, check out these trimmings. Trimmings are quite nice. It is a fancy trimming. The trimmings are quite fancy. So this place has got a lot of potential. A ton of potential. But what you're really paying for here is the view. This is how they justify the price, I imagine. So right over there, that's the Blue Mosque. And the Blue Mosque is like the, the most famous big mosque in all of Istanbul. Huge tourist attraction, huge highlight. You get a pretty good view of like the Grand Bazaar is just up that way. That's where haggling the other day. Semi got scammed. And then, you know, you have a decent view of the street below. Great view of the port. And then there's a restaurant right up there, which we'll check out too. In theory, I think this is like the best room in the hotel. And that's why it is like a hundred bucks a night. I also booked it last minute too, which definitely kind of factored into the price. But this table and this view, it's pretty good. Especially if you had a, a family with you, this would be a very, very wholesome occasion. You could have your family here, have some coffee, have some tea, but I don't have a family. It's just me by myself and that's cool. So yeah, the view is really the selling point here. Got a view of the port over there. Look at all those ships. Jeez, if I had more time in Istanbul, I'd definitely be checking out the port more. My time in Istanbul has just gone by way too fast. Way, way too fast. But I know I'll be back. Yeah, AC in there. Oh, let's check out the bathroom. One thing I do want to note is that walls are a little dirty. You know, general wear and tear, but they are slightly dirty, which is noticeable. But then the bathroom. Oh, I need to put the key in. Key in the key thing. And now we'll get some power. So this is the bathroom. Pretty standard. You got some soaps and stuff. Small little sink. Toilet. Trash can. And shower. Shower is pretty good. Hot water and everything. A little vent there. And yeah, that's the bathroom here. So let's go check out the, the restaurant before we really finalize our thoughts here. I was just up here a minute ago and no one was here. So that's why it kind of surprised me that there was somebody here. Let me see. Uh, you guys have fruit soda, blah, 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 blah. The restaurant is pretty big. Check it out. Don't think we'll be getting anything right now, but maybe later. But check it, the view is crazy. It is a crazy view. You see everything. And they do have free breakfast. 
which I just have slept through. Okay, so let's just give a round of like, is this place worth it? A hundred bucks? I mean, honestly, in my opinion, no, this is not worth a hundred bucks. Not even close. Probably more like 50 if I had to be honest. I think I got a room bigger than I need. If I was just in a standard room with a decent view, 50 bucks seems about right. But a hundred bucks, too much. So yeah, let me know what you think. Is this worth a hundred bucks? The staff is very friendly. The people are very friendly. There is free breakfast. I mean, it's just a little dirty. But what I think, a little too expensive for what I'm paying. So yeah, that's the review. Let me know what you think. Next time I come to Istanbul, we'll try another fancy hotel and see what it's like. So I hope you liked the video and I will see you in the next one.